Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for April, okay? So anytime in April, so keep that in mind. Uh, so what do we have for Taurus? Now anything, it doesn't have to just be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It can be for anything, any placement in your chart, okay? So, what do we have for Taurus for April? Pin, new job or career. Maybe that's what you're focusing on. Maybe you're focusing on creating something new for yourself or you're getting a new job or you're thinking about it or you're doing it. What do we have for Taurus? Ink pop, problems to be resolved. So there's problems to be resolved. It could certainly have to do with your job or career or whatever it is. Looks like it's a messy situation. I mean, that looks pretty messy to me. It's probably not going to be easy. Clean up this mess. Pale, time to get out of a situation. We'll take a look at that. It's time to get out of a situation, Taurus. It's a messy situation. We got a spill. We got a problem. We do got a problem. Perhaps it's time to get out of this situation. Clean it up. That water cleans up that mess. So something is being cleaned up. You're cleaning up some sort of mess, taking control. I think this has to do with your job or career. I think you can do it. What do we have for Taurus? Oh, it takes a little bit of elbow grease, huh? What do we have for Taurus? Libra, justice, scales. Libra could be dealing with the Libra. There's a realignment here. When this comes out in the upright, there could be some karma. But this is making a decision, maybe a new contract. Um, doing the right thing, being honest. I feel like we have some sort of realignment, new contract. <sighs> A rebalancing of something, you may be rebalancing things, balancing things out, making some life changing decisions. Oh. I'm not sure that's in the cards, but apparently it is. New sexual partner. For some of you. Wedding vows, wedding vows. So this is a new contract. And now whatever this is, if you think about the marriage card, it's, it's a securing a new contract, whether it's work or career. Something you're passionate about. What do we have for Taurus? Hmm. Ah! Well, I'll take it. The Empress. The Empress. That's your energy, right? It's time. It's time for a blessing. It's time for a new life. It's beautiful, right? This is the goddess of love and abundance. The Empress is a domestic goddess. That's your energy. So you may be giving birth to a new life. It may be a time of rebirth for you. It's harvest time, obviously. It's a time of love and abundance. That makes sense. Because we have an alignment here. Two things aligning. We have career and then we, and then we have the new sexual partner. I don't know what the heck is going on here, Taurus. But whatever this is, this is a new love. It's a new life. It's beautiful. It's tender love and care. It's being loved and cared for. It's love and abundance. Look at that, there's a new baby, glowing, beautiful, 
creating, creating something new, creating a new, you're creating something. And it's going to, it's going to connect, okay? This is a long-term situation. It's like a long-term contract. It is. It's like a commitment. You're creating something new. There's, and it's interesting because sexual partner, the Empress is very sexual. She's very sensual. You know, she's passionate. She's a lover. She creates. She's domestic. I mean, she's the goddess of love and abundance. I mean, she's the queen of all queens. New sexual partner, new job, both connection, commitment. There's something going on here. Time to get out of a situation. It's time for a new life. It's, it's a time of fertility. It is definitely a time of fertility or there's some sort of assistance probably from Venus. I don't know if Venus is in your sign during this time. You're ruled by Venus. So a problem is going to be resolved creating something new it's beautiful whatever it is new baby new love new job new sexual partner new contract new commitment whatever this commitment is I don't know if you're signing a contract or creating something because I thought of the ink pot, you know, in the old days, I don't know if that's a ink pen or what. And this is like a contract time to get out of a situation, creating something new. You are getting out of something. Maybe you're just adding something to it. I don't know. What do we have? For Taurus. Justice reversed. Justice reversed is an injustice. It's unfair treatment. It's lack of integrity. Not telling the truth. Argument with no resolution in sight. And you are getting out of a situation. Because we got getting out of a, a, a messy situation. Creating a new life. Justice reverse is some sort of injustice, lack of, well, it could be indecisiveness, indecision, you know, I mean, it could be, but this, there's something about contracts here. Unfair treatment. Treated treated unfairly. We do have the end of a contract. Getting out of some sort of contract. Something like that. It could be an argument here. No resolution. Lack of integrity. Not doing the right thing. Lying. Somebody could be lying. Queen of Wands on the bottom. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra here a couple times. There's some sort of injustice, unfair treatment. Somebody's been treated unfairly. I feel like we have a separation of some sort. Cleaning up a messy situation where there's been an injustice. That's what this is. We do have a realignment, doing something risky. Putting yourself front and center, taking a big risk, holding your head high, creating something. You're going to be creating something new, doing something brave. The emperor. So I don't know if you're dealing with a father or a boss or a judge or somebody. 
Um, that is making a decision. We definitely have a decision that is being made by somebody that is in a position of authority. Uh, it could be whatever it is. It's a masculine. We have masculine and feminine. And these two happen to be counterparts. It's a perfect match. They're meant to be together. A decision is being made. And I don't know if it's a legal decision or has could be both. I mean, we have work and we have love here. I mean, we have money and love, okay, with the Empress, whatever. This is a decision that is being made. It has to do with, you know, a final decision is being made that is best for everybody involved. The Emperor is typically an older man or somebody that is in a position of high authority that, you know, people look up to this person. This person, you know, has to make decisions that are best for everybody involved. This could be somebody that's in a very high position. Could be a boss, could be a president, could be a CEO, could be, you know, a business owner, could just be a judge or king, a ruler, whatever. A decision is being made. A de definite decision, because that's a decision. Could be a court ruling. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's a decision that is being made that is best for everybody involved. And this has to do with a contract. And, it, and for some of you, it could have to do with a family situation, because this is a father. This is a mother, but whatever. Uh, this could be some whatever. There's a, there's a decision that is being made. There's been some sort of unfair treatment because of the justice card reversed. Hmm. Now, the Emperor is battle ready. This is somebody that is ready to fight. They're ready to battle. They, they uh, are fearless, has, you know, got all their ducks in the row. This is somebody that is very structured and organized, that is taking charge. Could be an Aries, could be a Libra. We have Aries, Libra, Taurus, here. Seeing very clearly what the best choice is, coming out of confusion, making a choice. There's been some sort of delusionment or or poor decision making, which there has. Somebody's made a poor choice. There's consequences here. There is some sort of consequences here. Choose wisely. Be careful. Be careful with your choices. There's a decision that needs to be made. For some of you, you may have to make a decision. This has to, and you're going to have to choose wisely. Be very careful with your choices. This, this is a long-term commitment. It's a long-term contract. Choose wisely. Be honest with yourself. You know, you really, 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 really need to be honest with yourself. I can't wait to see what that justice card reversed is. Mm. Oh my God. There's that passion, new spark, new drive, new sexual partner. That's a new sexual partner for some of you. It leads to commitment, but be careful. Yikes, that Seven of Cups reversed is uh, making a choice. Become, Make sure that you're clear on this choice. Make sure that you're being honest with yourself about something. The hell is this? Anyhow, the Ace of Wands reverse. Oh, not reverse. It's upright. That's a new spark. It's a sudden desire. It's a new partner. It's it's exciting. A new beginning. A fresh start. Some, a seed that has been planted is coming to fruition. Making a decision, making a choice, new vision, new spark, new drive, new endeavor. You definitely have something new here. This is going to be a long-term commitment, whether it's a new job or a new sexual partner or both. Something about being loved and cared for. It's harvest time. It's time to receive love and abundance mm. page of swords reverse now typically that's some sort of confusion fear maybe You gotta be careful with the page of swords in reverse because it could be, I mean, sometimes a page of swords reverse can be an enemy disguised as a friend or an enemy in the camp or somebody could be just spying or stalking or something like that. Uh, 
Oh, there could be some sort of lies here. You got to be careful with Justice Reverse and the Page of Swords Reverse. I mean, you do got to be careful. Unexpected conflict. Some. This is very sudden. There is a sudden choice, sudden decision, becoming clear of a choice, suddenly, but... You got to be careful with the Page of Swords reversed. Mm. Moving on, moving on, going somewhere. Moving away from some sort of conflict, moving away from something. Going to a better place, leaving behind a stressful situation where there's been some sort of injustice. Moving away from some sort of unfair treatment, some sort of lies, deception. What the hell is this? What is this justice card reversed? This is moving on. Going in a new direction. But this is some sort of confusion. Creating something new from some sort of injustice. Creating something new, moving on because of an injustice, because of unfair treatment, something like that. Going to a better place. There could be a message that is coming that you don't want to hear. I've got to be honest with you. With these two cards right here okay this may, could be a message it's not what you want to hear five of cups reversed five of cups reversed beginning to realize something something is somebody that has emotionally disappointed you that has treated you unfairly is beginning to realize something something could be coming back around This is moving on. Somebody has been wallowing or there's been a period of grief. There's been unfair treatment. Somebody made a poor decision. There's been some sort of lies, hostilities, fighting, but it's over. It's over. Things are going to start to get better. Nine of Swords, reverse, giving deep thought to a relationship, extremely stressed out, the end of a stressful period where there's been some sort of emotional loss and there's been an injustice. Beginning to realize, extremely worried, giving deep thought to, to a relationship, be careful. <laughs> Be careful. Listen to your gut. Listen to your gut. I wonder if there's somebody that treated you unfairly that is communicating with you. And you don't trust this person. We have something coming to fruition, a seed that was planted that is coming to fruition could lead to marriage, whatever the heck this is. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is about security, stability, holding on to something that is solid, stable, and secure. We have somebody here that is very much afraid of loss. There's some hold on to your security, hold on to your stability. Be careful of any contracts. Just make sure that you're reading all the fine print. <laughs> okay. Headed towards stability. You are headed towards stability. But this page of swords reversed is, is a need to uh, set boundaries. You're going to need to set boundaries. 
you have the ability to create whatever you want because you, 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 you do. What is this justice card reversed? Unfair, undecisive, unsure, confused. Somebody, this is like traveling towards security. You are headed towards security. Things are going to get better coming out of a stressful period. You are going to come out of a stressful period. Okay? I feel like there's some sort of help arriving. There is a realignment here. Can I get one more card for that justice card reversed? What is this justice card reversed? That didn't help very much. Justice, injustice, unfair. Not telling the truth. I would be very, very, very careful with any contracts. That's for damn sure. Hold on to your money. Hold on to your stability. Be careful of lies and deception. This is creating. This is a creator. This is moving on from an unjust, from a liar. From a situation where there's been unfair treatment. Justice reverse is unfair, unfair. This isn't fair. There's lack of integrity be honest with yourself you need to be honest with yourself about something about your security about your stability there's an opportunity here for a new life there is There's extremely fearful, extremely scared right here. Giving deep thought to a contract, giving deep thought to a relationship, giving deep thought to something. Mm. World card on the bottom is a major completion of a cycle. It's a major accomplishment. It's a congratulations. A phase of your life is over. So there is a phase that is ending. A major accomplishment. A lesson learned. So we do have a lesson learned here. There could be an... <laughs> holding on to something, lying. Somebody's holding on to something and they're lying. You need to be careful and I don't know who that is or if it's you or what. Holding on to something that is a lie. Give deep thought to whatever this is that you're holding on to, okay? This is saying goodbye, okay? It's saying goodbye. It's stepping into a whole new world. It's a whole new era. It's a whole new you. It's the end of a journey. It's the end of a cycle. It's a major completion. Saying goodbye. Somebody is saying goodbye. The end of an era. It's the end of an era. Creating a new life. But there's some sort of message and maybe this is just a message of conflict. Maybe maybe you've been focusing on something, you know, realigning yourself. And you get this message that brings some sort of conflict from somebody that, I don't know, mistreated you, lied to you, treated unfairly, whatever. Anyhow, this, this world card is the end of a cycle it's something prominent congratulations there could be some sort of public recognition here as well getting some sort of rug uh, maybe it's worldwide or public or this is saying goodbye to something in the past the end of a journey stepping into a whole new era a whole new you a whole new world creating something out you're creating something after some sort of unfair treatment moving on going to a better place headed towards security where there's 
I feel like there's less stress. There's a new opportunity here. But Oh, listen to your intuition. Your intuition knows. Your intuition. This is highly intuitive. Taurus absolutely, actually represents the high priestess as well. Listen to your intuition. If your intuition tells you that something isn't right or that something is lying, listen. Listen. You know that it's time to move on from something that you have been holding on to for security reasons, whatever this is. Maybe you've just been protecting yourself. Maybe you've been protecting yourself. Moon reverse, reality check. Something that was hidden being revealed. You knew this was coming. You knew this was coming. You did. You knew this was coming. A release of fear. You need to release your fear. You need to trust your intuition. You're gonna, something is happening where you're going to have to use your intuition. You're going to have to release your fear. Something is coming to fruition now that was planted. The seed was planted a long time ago. When this message comes or whatever this is that comes, it's going to bring some sort of inner conflict. You're going to be confused. Mm. What do we have for Taurus? seeing very clearly that it's time to take action. There is somebody here that's about to take action. You're going to be receiving some sort of offer or opportunity from somebody. This is a long-term commitment. It could be you that's creating this as well. You may be creating this for yourself, but there's some sort of indecision here about moving on from a situation that makes you feel secure, and it just could be your own insecurities. This could have to do with your own insecurities, okay? You need to let go of your insecurities. You need to let go of your fears. You need to trust yourself, okay? You need to believe in yourself. Listen to your intuition. If something feels off, it is off. beginning to realize that there is another opportunity here. There is an opportunity here. There is an opportunity here. Anyhow, what do we have for Taurus? This is a long-term commitment. Whether it's job or both. Because the Empress is love and abundance. But there's confusion over it. Confusion as to whether you should go in that direction or not. There's indecisiveness because of fear. You knew this was coming. You know. You know. What do we have for Taurus? Problem to be resolved. Time to get out of a situation. Cleanse and detoxify. With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your requests, at your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow of shedding your old ways. 
Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. Cleanse and, <laughs> Cleanse and detoxify. A message is coming. Okay, this may be a message that you don't want to hear. Okay, I gotta tell you, page of page of swords reverse is some sort of you know unwelcome message or a situation you know where you get confused. You don't know what to do. Let's get one of these. A release fear, a reality check, something being made very clear. You knew this was coming. You knew this was coming. A message is coming. It may have to do with cleansing. It may have something to do with a child as well. I mean, I hate to say that. We have a child here and we have cleansing. Something has been hidden. There's been some secrets. They're, and you know what these are. They're going to be revealed. These secrets are going to could be secret feelings or something like that. Something is going to be revealed. What do we have for Taurus? Somebody's been holding on to another person for security reasons. They've been lying, okay? They've been holding back. They've been holding on for security reasons, money reasons, stability re reasons. There's going to be some movement. You knew this was going to happen. The time is now. It's time for a delivery. It's time for a new life. Huh. What do we have for Taurus? Divine timing. Divine timing, Taurus. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but I'm going to stick to the script and read. Portrayed on a fantasy landscape of clouds and falling stars, the my mysterious hand of fate writes scripture into the ether. I'm going to stick to the script. Portrayed on a fantasy landscape of clouds and falling stars, the mysterious hand of fate writes scripture into the ether as if recording the karmic destiny of a soul's earthly sojourn. And we definitely have some karma going on here. Karmic contract that isn't over yet, or it's not over yet, or something like that. <clears throat> Anyhow, a rickety clock marks the man-made passage of time. The swing of the heavy pendulum defines a world of opposites, night and day, before and after, spring and autumn, and the tick-tock of restrictions created by the constraints of worldly time. An angel leans nonchalantly against the clock, awaiting her next assignment. <laughs> While two dragonflies hover overhead in shamanic, shamanic, cultures, the dragonfly is revered for many reasons. Drawn to lakes and flowing water, this powerful totem represents the unconscious mind in the realm of dreams. The appearance of the divine timing card invites you to align with your intuitive nature. While being patient and flexible, things may happen at a different pace than anticipated or opportunities may spontaneously arise. So be ready for syn synchronistic, synchronistic, whatever, synchronistic happenings, unexpected blessings, and sudden endings or beginnings. And we have the blessings here. Divine timing may, be, may well gift you with a beautiful happening. But if progress seems thwarted by dead ends in spite of your efforts, look heavenward for guidance. Have faith that your sincere efforts and intentions will be heard. Life doesn't always manifest 
in accordance to our will, but there are specific lessons that can be learned precisely because of frustrating delays or sudden changes. And you never know when those lessons will come in useful. Take care to guard against blame or becoming the victim of circumstance. Cultivate your ears to hear inner prompts and your eyes to read the signs. That's why the High Priestess is here. It's about observing and reflecting and looking deep. Look deeper than what you see. Look deeper than the surface. Something is happening. That's all. It's time. And it is time. It's time for a new life. Okay, that's the truth. Okay. Cultivate your ears to hear inner prompts and your eyes to read the signs. Dreams and meditation can reveal valuable insights which point toward the deeper truths behind reoccurring events and realign you with the rich, organic flow of divine timing. I did just say look deeper. Divine providence always delivers what we need when we need it and for our highest good. The responsibility lies with each individual to adapt accordingly. And you know what? You may not want this responsibility. And I say that because justice is reversed twice. It's like, no, I didn't ask for this. <clears throat> Divine providence always delivers what we need when we, when we need it and for our highest good. The responsibility lies with each individual to adapt accordingly. Ask for the necessary understanding of why things are as they are and for any gifts or benefits hidden within the seeming disruption and that is very clear here something is happening it's like a why and I, and you it's like you put, I think you sense this was coming you need to look at the deeper meaning of it but this nine of swords reverse right here is like why now why is this happening now this is not what I asked for so it may not be part of the plan right <clears throat> And it's, anyway, and for any gifts or benefits hidden within the seeming disruption. So it may seem like it's unfair, but it's going to develop your spiritual gifts. It is. Whatever this is. If you wonder how divine timing plays a part in your life, reflect on how seemingly unplanned synchronicities have molded your reality today. Consider how unseen forces and connection have led you to the point in your life, have led you to this point in your life and your spiritual development. This has something to do with your spiritual development. Hmm. So anyhow, Taurus in April, it feels like you got a lot going on. Uh, we have the end of a cycle because of the world card. Okay, that's a major completion of a significant cycle in your life. It's not something little, it's something big. A graduation, a marriage, a, a long-term relationship, a, a period of being single, a long-term period, a career. You know, it's something big that you had to learn a lesson from. Okay, so we have a significant completion of a cycle in your life. Okay, this is life changing. Okay, it's time for you to release your fears, and this is all part of your spiritual journey. It's all part of part of your spiritual evolution. Um, Whatever this is, it's, it's actually pretty secure, okay? It is pretty secure with the four of, four of Pentacles. But you have to give deep thought to give deep thought. Look deeper, look deeper, dig deep, listen, listen to your gut. I gotta get one more card for that justice. Those justice card reverse. It's like, this is not... It's not what I asked for. Mm. Two of Cups reverse. The Two of Cups reverse is a detachment from a partnership. 
detachment from a contract. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening underneath it. The Nine of Swords giving deep thought to a partnership. Whether this is a work partnership or a love partnership or any type of partnership, whatever this is, this is, this is, this is like a partnership that is not aligned, okay? This is a, this is a misaligned partnership. This is not a, a compatible partnership. There's a, there's a separation or a breakup. It's, whatever it is okay the two of cups reverse is is no unity it's lack of equality it's it's a partnership that is not on the same page okay somebody's moving on from a partnership that is not on the same page maybe there's a partner in your past that treated you unfairly as well i mean because the moon represents the past this is a partnership this is unfair treatment you know, that is causing you a lot of worry, anxiety, and you're holding on to that worry and anxiety, and it's time to move on. I mean, I could go all day, but I have other readings to do. There's so many different people that watch these readings, but, you know, this is listen to your intuition. You're going to have to make a decision, obviously. We got a decision all over in this reading, okay? And it's going to be unclear of which way to go. You have the ability, okay? You have the ability to create. You do, because you're the empress. But you're going to have to listen to your intuition and let go of your fears, okay? And don't listen to people that don't have your best interest at play. Because you could have like an enemy in the camp or an enemy disguised as a friend or somebody that's not very mature, with the Page of Wands reverse giving you advice, or Page of Swords reverse. This could be somebody that, you know, doesn't have your best interests at heart. This is a new commitment. Listen to your gut. It's time to move on. It's time to go. There's a problem to be resolved. It's time to get out of a situation. It's time to move on. You've been treated unfairly, and it's time to create, and you know it. It's time to create this this new, whatever it is, contract. Or just move on. Moving Some of you are moving away from a partnership where there's been an injustice. There's been Maybe there's an argument with no resolution in sight. There's lies. There's deception. There's lack of integrity. Whatever it is. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be an Aries. But there also is an opportunity here for new love. Okay? So you take what resonates and leave the rest. Good luck.